So in this video, I'm going to prove the alternating series remainder. So if you have a, or if we have a convergent alternating series, um, and what, and the condition is that the nth plus term has to be less than or equal to the nth term, and also the limit of the nth term has to go to zero, then the uh, difference between the the actual sum, which is s here, the difference between the sum and the nth partial sums, so the absolute value of that which is the residual is going to be less than or equal to the nth plus one term. Okay, so we're going to prove this result. Okay. Okay, so, all right. So R sub n, okay, so, so this is just the residual. The residual is the difference between the, the actual sum and the nth partial terms, okay. Okay, so S, so S is, let's say S is equal to, starting from one, that's the alternating series. Okay, so then from here, okay, uh, we can go ahead and expand it out, okay, for S and S of N. We can write it, we, we can express those in terms of the summation. So R of N is going to be equal to, Okay, the sum, alternating sum. Okay, minus S of N. So we're going from one to N with minus one to the nth plus one. Okay, and there's our N term. So now what we're gonna do is, okay, we're gonna expand this out. Okay, uh, go through some algebra and then um, we're going to show, we want to show that this is going to be, this quantity here is going to be less than or equal to the nth plus one term. Okay, so, so expanding this, okay, taking the difference, we're going to be left with, okay, so we're going to have minus one to the n, a sub n plus one, okay, plus minus one. So minus one to n plus one, n plus one. Actually, no, sorry, n plus two. Plus minus one to the n plus two, a sub n plus two. Okay, and so on. Okay. So let me explain this a little bit here. So what it is, just take out. Okay, so we have this is. This is what the, this is our sum, okay? So this is actually the, the sum, this is what the value, okay? The actual series of our sum, okay? This is the first n partial sums, okay, for our series. So we're taking out, we're subtracting out the first n partial sums from our series, okay? So that means we're gonna be left with an n plus one term, okay? So let's go down here. So you're gonna be, we're gonna be left with this, okay? But then, um, I have the reason there's an n here is because if you notice in the original series, okay, this is this is this has to be different by one. So this is a sub n. This has to be n plus one, okay. So since we're taking out the first n terms, the next one will be the nth plus one. But this has to be this has to be n, okay, because they have to be a difference by one, okay. And the next one will be n plus two, okay. And then n plus three here. Okay, so that's actually n plus three. Okay, all right. So from here, what we can do, uh, the rest is just algebra. We can factor out a minus one to the n. So that's the same thing as just taking out minus one. So this is gonna give us a sub n plus one, okay. The next one will be minus because here I have minus one to the n plus one. So remember that is, so that is the same as, okay. So that is just minus one to the n times negative one. Okay, let me write that a little bit better. Okay, so we're factoring out minus one. So that's gonna leave us with a minus 
right? This, if we factor out minus one from here, that's going to leave us with a minus here. Okay. So that's where that's coming from. So that's going to give us a minus a sub n plus two. Okay. And then next one is this is so here we have minus one to the n and then minus one squared. So the minus one squared is a positive, and we're taking out a negative. So that's going to leave us with a right. That's going to leave us with a positive value because we're taking out minus one to the n. So that leaves us with minus one squared, which will be positive. So that's going to be a to the n plus three. Okay. And then so on. Okay. So all we did, okay, from from this step to this step was just factoring out minus one. Okay, so the signs will, um, so we're, the signs will change. Okay, so the positives in here will become negatives, and the negatives will become positives. Okay, so now from here, um, so we're going to take the absolute value. Okay. Because that's what we have, right? That's what we have up here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to have. So the residual is the same thing as taking the absolute value of the difference between the actual the actual sum and the nth partial sums. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, so now, so the absolute value, so we have minus one. So we have minus one here. Oops. So we have minus one, so taking the absolute value, that's going to turn to positive. So we're going to be left with a sub n plus one minus a sub n plus two plus a sub n plus three. And I'll go ahead and write out some more terms here. Okay. Okay, so now um, this is going to be equal to a sub n plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and group these. I'm going to go ahead and take out the minus from the next two. So this is going to become a n plus 2 minus a sub n plus 3. And you'll see why in a minute, why, why we do this. Next will be minus. And we have a sub n plus 4 minus a sub n plus 5, and so on, okay? All right, so going back to the um, to the assumption, right? This is an alternating series. So we know that the nth plus 1 term is less than or equal to the nth term, okay? So that means, okay, looking here, so the nth plus 1 term is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay, so that means that this, okay, since the nth plus one term, since the nth plus one term is smaller than the nth term, that must mean this makes this positive value, okay? All right, because this is n plus, this nth plus three term will be smaller than the nth plus two. So that means you're taking, so you're, Taking a big a bigger number, subtracting off a smaller part from a bigger number, so this is going to be um, positive or zero, okay, depending on what the terms are. So that means okay. So now, so you're taking so you you have a sub n plus one minus some number bigger or equal to zero. So that means this it must be the case. That means this has to be smaller than the nth plus one term because you're subtracting off positive values or, or zero. So it's either going to be equal to the nth plus one term or smaller. Okay. So therefore, okay, right, we showed that the residual is less than or equal to the nth term. Okay. So there's a couple applications uh, for this. Uh, and those are going to be done in, in another video. So we can use this to approximate as an alternating series by finding the um, by finding the lower and upper bound, okay, provided that we have a given number of terms. And 
we can also use this to determine the number to determine the number of terms required to approximate a series given given a uh, specific error okay so we're going to I'm going to do a couple of videos on those okay